Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss elevation in the boiling point. The another colligative property is what? Elevation in boiling point. Suppose if you take pure solvent such as pure water, the pure water has boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius or how many Kelvin? 373 Kelvin. 100 plus 273. So 373 Kelvin or 100 degrees Celsius is what boiling point of pure solvent. That is pure water. Now, this boiling point of pure solvent is taken as what? Tb0. Tb0 indicates the boiling temperature. Tb stands for boiling temperature. Boiling temperature of pure solvent. That is Tb0. Next, when we add a non-volatile solute, when we add a non-volatile solute to this pure water, to this pure water, pure solvent, when we add a non-volatile solute, what happens? Some solution is formed. The aqueous solution is formed. The aqueous solution of what? Non-volatile solute. Whenever they mention aqueous solution, the solvent must be what? Now here, the solution formed has the boiling point greater than 100 degrees Celsius. The boiling point of pure water is 100 degrees Celsius of the 73 Kelvin. And boiling point of the solution formed will be greater than 100 degrees Celsius more than 373 Kelvin. And this temperature of solution is taken as Tb. Tb is what? The boiling temperature of solution. Tb0 is what? Boiling temperature of pure solvent. Now, which is greater than which one? Here, the Tb of solution is greater than Tb0 of solvent, pure solvent. Now, the difference between these two values is called what? Elevation in boiling point. So the elevation in boiling point delta Tb is given as what? Tb of solution, boiling temperature of solution minus Tb not of pure solvent. Tb not of pure solvent. So this is what elevation in boiling point. And also remember that the elevation in boiling point is directly proportional to molality of solution. The elevation in boiling point is directly proportional to what? Molality. Molality is given by small letter m. Okay. Then we equate this. Then delta Tb. Delta Tb is equal to one constant called Kb into molality. So this is a formula for what? Elevation in boiling point. Elevation in boiling point is equal to Kb into molality. From this Kb is equal to what? Kb is equal to delta Tb, elevation in boiling temperature. Okay. By what? Molality. So this is what Kb. Kb is nothing but the elevation constant. Molal elevation constant. Molal elevation constant of solvent is equal to the elevation in boiling temperature divided by molality of solution. Okay. Next here, the delta Tb, elevation in boiling point is represented by what? Delta T or delta Tb you see. Delta Tb is called elevation in boiling temperature is equal to molality, that is small m, into Kb. Kb is what here? Molal, molal elevation constant. Molal elevation constant we say or ebullioscopic constant. The ebullioscopic constant and molal elevation constant. Both same, Kb. Okay, now here again, molality formula we know. Molality is equal to what weight of solute by gram molecular weight of solute into 1000 by weight of solvent in grams. It is what now? Molality. Weight of solute in grams divided by gram molecular weight of solute into 1000 by weight of solvent in grams. So the same formula we can write in the place of what? Molality. This formula we can substitute in the place of molality. Okay. So here weight of solute by gram molecular weight of solute. What is gram molecular weight of solute into 1000 by weight of solvent in grams is equal to molality. Now the elevation in boiling point of a solution. Okay of non-electrolyte, 
non electrolytes of non electrolytes non electrolyte examples for here glucose sucrose urea all these are not here non electrolytes the elevation in boiling point of a solution of non electrolyte is proportional to its molality okay the delta tb is directly proportional to what molality and equimolal solutions equimolal solutions meaning what the solutions having equal molality equimolal solutions of all the substances in the same solvent all the substances in same solvent here urea in water okay glucose in water sucrose in water these all things will be called what different substances dissolved in same solvent okay equimolal solutions of all the substances in the same solvent will show in the same solvent will show equal elevation in boiling points that means the solution of glucose in water the solution of urea in water the solution of sucrose in water okay having equal molality having equal molality will show what equal elevation in boiling points so this is known as the raoult's law of elevation of boiling point this is known as raoult's law of what elevation of boiling point next the molal elevation constant also called what molal elevation constant is also called ebullioscopic constant kb is kb is characteristic of a particular solvent for different solvents different values of kb will be there the kb value is different for different solvents and kb can be calculated from thermodynamic relationship by using thermodynamic relationship we can calculate kb value where kb is equal to kb of solvent is equal to r tb square divided by 1000 into lv r tb square upon 1000 lv where r is universal gas constant or we say universal solution constant okay and tb is what boiling temperature tb is called boiling temperature and lv is called latent heat of vaporization where r is molar gas constant molar gas constant okay tb is the boiling point of the solvent in kelvin scale only we have to take here so in kelvin we have to take boiling point of water or boiling point of solvent in kelvin we have to take and lv is the latent heat of vaporization latent heat of vaporization of solvent in calories per gram in calories per gram the latent heat of solvent latent heat of solvent is what lv okay next suppose if you take a liquid converting into vapor liquid converting into vapor okay suppose at boiling point at boiling point what happens now here temperature remains constant temperature boiling temperature remains constant temperature remains constant and boiling is going on but what happens now here the liquid will continue to absorb some amount of heat energy the heat is absorbed by this liquid which is called latent heat of vaporization as liquid is converted into vapor the phenomena is called vaporization the process is called vaporization when this liquid is boiling the temperature remains constant that is boiling temperature and the heat absorbed by the liquid for the conversion of liquid into vapor is called what latent heat of vaporization so latent heat of vaporization can be measured in calories or joules in calories or joules we measure what latent heat of vaporization if you take lv value if you take lv value in calories r value also should be in calories if you take lv value in joules r value should be in joules in r value r value is equal to 2 calories otherwise 8.314 joules so r value may be taken in joules or calories based on the units of what lv lv stands for latent heat of vaporization suppose for solvent water for solvent water the kb value molal elevation constant or ebullioscopic constant can be measured by using this one here two calories 
टू कैलरीज टू कैलरीज इज वॉट आर वैल्यू इन टू टीबी बॉइलिंग टेम्परेचर सो वॉट इज द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ दिस प्योर वाटर वॉट इज द बॉइलिंग टेम्परेचर हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस प्लस टू सेवेंटी थ्री दट इज थ्री सेवेंटी थ्री कैलवीन सो टीबी होल स्क्वेर अपॉन थाउजेंड इंटू फाइव फोर्टी कैलरीज फाइव फोर्टी कैलरी पर ग्राम ओके सो फाइव फोर्टी कैलरीज एंड आर वैल्यू टू कैलरीज फाइव फोर्टी इज वॉट एल वी हेयर एल वी मीन्स वॉट लेट एंड हीट ऑफ वेपरेशन लेट एंड हीट ऑफ वेपरेशन ऑफ वाटर लेट एंड हीट ऑफ वेपरेशन ऑफ वाटर वैल्यू हाउ मच फाइव फोर्टी कैलरीज as lv value we have taken in kelvin uh, r should be taken in kelvin and the boiling temperature should be in kelvin then we get 0.515 kelvin kg mole inverse what will be the units of uh, kb kelvin kg mole inverse so this value we must remember whenever they mention aqueous solution in the numerical problem kb value should be taken 0.5 because the aqueous solution contains water as solvent so water kb value is how much 0.515 kelvin kg mole inverse next different uh, solvents have different kb values suppose if you take solvent water its boiling point is 100 degree celsius boiling point is what 100 degree celsius okay 100 degree celsius and what will be in kelvin 373 kelvin its kb value is what 0.52 0.52 kelvin kg per mole per mole means mole inverse okay and acetone acetone is nothing but nail polish remover nail paint remover is what acetone this solvent has boiling point of 56 degree celsius and its kb value kb value of acetone is 1.7 1.7 kelvin kg mole inverse. Okay, so like this, uh, different solvents have different KB values, and benzene, the solvent benzene, non-polar solvent benzene, has boiling point of 80 degrees Celsius, and its KB value is 2.7. In this way, KB value we can calculate by using the above formula. Next point, what we have to understand is that if KB W A delta T B, delta T means delta T B. change in boiling point elevation in boiling point and wb here wa is what weight of solvent weight of solute wb is weight of solute if these values are known if these all values are known molecular mass of a non volatile solute molecular mass of non volatile solid is what mb mb can be calculated molecular mass of non volatile solute can be calculated if you know these all values the most convenient method for the determination of delta tb delta tb is what elevation in boiling point the most convenient method to determine delta tb in laboratory is what lands burger l a n d s l a n d s lands burger method so lands burger method is the suitable method to calculate what to determine what elevation in boiling point next freezing point of a substance freezing point of a substance is defined as okay now boiling point we discussed boiling point meaning what the temperature of a liquid at which the boiling point is the temperature of a liquid at which the vapor pressure of liquid becomes equal to vapor pressure of liquid becomes equal to atmospheric pressure that is boiling point so what is boiling point the temperature of liquid at which the vapor pressure of liquid becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure how much 1 atm or 1760 mm similarly the freezing point what is freezing point we have to understand now we are going to discuss about another colligative property watch depression in freezing point depression 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 nothing but is nothing but decreasing so depression in the freezing point depression in freezing point of what solution okay now freezing point of a substance is defined as the temperature at which the temperature at which the vapor pressure of its liquid the temperature at which the vapor pressure of its liquid 
is equal to the vapor pressure of the corresponding solid suppose whenever the liquid water when liquid water converts into solid ice solid ice this phenomenon is one of freezing what is called freezing so now when freezing is going on the vapor pressure of water becomes equal to vapor pressure of this ice at which point here freezing point so at freezing temperature at tf tf means what now freezing point at freezing point what happens now vapor pressure of water vapor pressure of liquid vapor pressure of liquid becomes equal to what now vapor pressure of its solid what is solid of ice solid of water ice so the vapor pressure of liquid water becomes equal to vapor pressure of solid ice at which point it takes place here it occurs here at freezing point at freezing point and now when you take boiling when you take boiling what happens in case of boiling the liquid water changes to vapor the liquid water changes to steam so here during boiling process what happens now during boiling process at boiling point at boiling point vapor pressure of what vapor pressure of water vapor pressure of that liquid becomes equal to atmospheric pressure what is this? atmospheric pressure so what is atmospheric pressure value 1 atm 1 atm is equal to 760 mm 760 mm of mercury or 7 760 torr anyone we can take here so in this way the temperature at which the vapor pressure of liquid becomes equal to atmospheric pressure is called boiling temperature and the temperature the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid becomes equal to the vapor pressure of its solid is called freezing temperature okay since the addition of a non volatile solute non volatile solute means the solute which cannot be evaporated on its own which cannot be evaporated is called non volatile solute so since the addition of non volatile solute always lowers always lowers the vapor pressure of a solvent therefore it will be in equilibrium with solid phase the liquid will be in equilibrium with the, the solid phase at a lower pressure and hence at lower temperature lower whenever pressure decreases temperature also will be low so what will be in equilibrium with solid the liquid will be in equilibrium with solid at lower pressure and lower temperature at lower pressure and lower temperature the liquid will be in equilibrium with what it's a solid now the difference the difference between the freezing points of pure solvent and its solution is called what depression in freezing point so depression in freezing point meaning what the difference between the freezing points of pure solvent and its solution is called what now here the freezing depression freezing point therefore what we say depression and freezing point is given by delta tf you take delta tf is equal to freezing point of the solvent minus freezing point of the solution freezing point of the solvent minus what freezing point of solution now check it here so what is freezing process check here now initially we are taking what pure solvent what is taken pure solvent that is pure water taken what is the freezing point freezing temperature of pure water how much 0 degree celsius that is 273 kelvin 273 kelvin now on adding what what we added here non volatile solute what is added to this non volatile solute a non volatile solute is added here plus indicates what adding so on addition of on addition of non volatile solute to this pure water what happens solution is formed here what will be forming solution is formed here. now this solution freezing point will be less than 0 or more than 0 now the freezing point of this solution will be less than 0 degree celsius that means what happened here the 0 degree celsius freezing point of pure water is lowered it becomes less than 0 means what minus 1 degrees minus 2 degree celsius minus 3 degree celsius in that way it will be decreased here so this is called depression in 
freezing point. What is called man? Depression in freezing point. So on addition of non-volatile solute, the freezing point of pure solvent will decrease. This is called what now? Depression in freezing point. Now which one has greater freezing point here? The pure solvent has greater freezing point. And this value is taken as TF naught. TF naught indicates what? Freezing point of freezing temperature of pure solvent. And this less than zero degree Celsius is called TF. TF means what now? The freezing temperature of solution formed. Now, which one is having greater value? TF naught is greater. That's why delta T, delta TF is equal to what minus what we have to take? TF naught of pure solvent minus TF of solution. TF naught of pure solvent minus TF of solution. This will be called depression in freezing point. Therefore, depression of freezing point is equal to what mark? Freezing point of the solvent, pure solvent minus freezing point of the solution. It is what? Difference in uh, freezing points of solute and solvent, solvent and solution. Next, if you observe the graph of what vapor pressure versus temperature, the graph of vapor pressure against what temperature. In this case, now here on y axis, what are taken here? P0, P1, P2, which are called vapor pressures here. On x axis, what we have taken? T2, T1, T0. These are boiling temperatures or freezing temperatures. What we have taken here? Here we have taken freezing temperatures. So the graph of what versus what vapor pressure against temperature. So what is here? Graph of vapor pressure, vapor pressure against what? Or versus vapor pressure versus what? Temperature. Which temperature? Kelvin temperature we have to take. Now here we have taken solvent, pure solvent, solution 1, solution 2. Pure solvent, solution 1, solution 2 we have taken. Is that clear, ma? Yeah. So here in this graph now, on uh, y-axis we have taken P0, which indicates what vapor pressure of pure solvent. What is P0 here? Vapor pressure of pure solvent. Vapor pressure of pure solvent. And P1 is what vapor pressure of solution one. P2 is what vapor pressure of solution two. Now generally, which will have more vapor pressure? The pure solvent has more vapor pressure than P1 and P2. Okay. Now, how to say lowering of vapor pressure of solution 1? P0 minus P1. P0 minus P1 will be equal to lowering of vapor pressure of formation of solution 1. And what is the lowering of vapor pressure of solution 2 formation? P0 minus P2. P0 minus P2 is what? The lowering of vapor pressure of formation of solution 2 in this case. Now, initially, the solvent has how much vapor pressure? P0. P0 is what? The vapor pressure of solvent here initially. Okay. The vapor pressure of solvent becomes equal to the vapor pressure of its solid. The vapor pressure of solvent becomes equal to the vapor pressure of its solid at one particular temperature called what? T0. T0 is called what here? What is T0? Boiling temperature or freezing temperature we have taken here, freezing temperature. So the freezing point, freezing point of pure solvent. Freezing point of what? Pure solvent. So on x-axis, on x-axis what is taken here? Freezing temperature taken here, freezing point. Now T0 indicates what here? The freezing point of pure solvent. Now if you take solution 1. Now solution 1, okay, at this temperature of T1, that is freezing temperature of uh, solution 1. What happens again? The vapor pressure of solution 1 becomes equal to the vapor pressure of its solid. The vapor pressure of solution 1 becomes equal to the vapor pressure of solid of solution 1 at T1 temperature. And this T1 temperature is called freezing temperature of solution 1. And what is the initial vapor pressure of solution 1? P1. P1 is what? The vapor pressure of solution 1. And this vapor pressure of solution 1 becomes equal to vapor pressure of solid at T1 temperature. And at T2 temperature, at T2 temperature, what happens now? 
the vapor pressure of solution 2 becomes equal to the vapor pressure of its solid. The vapor pressure of solution 2 becomes equal to vapor pressure of its solid at T2 temperature. Therefore, T2 temperature is called what here? Freezing point of solution 2. Now, how to say the depression of freezing point of solution 1? Depression. Depression in freezing point of what? Solution 1 e is given as what? Delta Tf of solution 1 is equal to what minus what? Tf naught. Tf naught minus what? T1. This difference is there, no? Tf naught minus T1. This difference is equal to what? More? Delta Tf of solution 1. Depression in freezing point of solution 1. And what is T naught minus T2? The T naught minus T2. T naught minus T2 is what now here? Depression in freezing point, delta Tf of what? Solution 2. Delta Tf of solution 2 is equal to what? T naught minus T2. Is that clear? So it's about what now? Graph of vapor pressure against what? The temperature. Okay. Next. The freezing temperature is equal to what now here? Freezing point of solvent minus freezing point of solution. The freezing point of solvent is given by Tf naught, pure solvent. And freezing point of solution is given as Tf. This difference is called what now here? Depression freezing point. Is that clear? Now see. Now here, what is the deck to be taken here? Depression and freezing point. Delta Tf is directly proportional to molality. What is molality? Small m. Okay. And delta Tf. Delta Tf means depression and freezing point is equal to one constant called Kf into molality. Kf into molality. Now Kf is equal to what from this? Kf is equal to molal. Or you write like first equation letter. Delta Tf. Delta Tf by molality. Units will be what? The depression and freezing point in Kelvin. By molality. Mole per kg. Mole per kg. Mole kg inverse. Therefore, units will be what now? Kelvin. Kg. Mole inverse. So, Kelvin. Kg. Mole inverse is the unit of what? Kf. Kf is what now? Molal, molal depression constant, molal depression, molal depression we say or cryoscopic, what is called cryoscopic constant, cryoscopic constant or molal depression constant, cryoscopic constant or molal depression constant is KFU. Okay, so very, very important, we'll discuss in the next class.